Right, so it's goodbye to Stroud Hill Park. Yep. And we're off to Long Nor Wood uh, near Buxton. So this is about the longest journey I think we've done. Yeah. Time wise. Time wise, yeah. So we've got A14, M1, A50, A515. So lots of boring motorway and yeah. stuff. I think we'll we'll film a bit of the interesting uh, bumpy bits. Interesting bumpy bits. Yeah. So what do you think of this site then? Well, I mean it's a bit interrupted yesterday because we obviously went to the museum. Right. <laughs> And uh, then when we came back, yeah. we had thunderstorms, didn't we, for it the rest of the It was torrential rain, it wasn't. And torrential fun. rain, yeah. so. So we were planning. I haven't just... seen it in his best, I No, no. I mean, this used to be an awful junction, didn't it? It did, yeah. It used to sort of go down a dip and queue around yeah, the roundabout. Yeah, a load of complicated and, oh, roundabouts. And it was terrible. I can't remember what the junction's called, is it? No, I can't remember the name of it. No. I'll put the link in here but this is the first time we've been this way since they finished this I think Take isn't it? Yeah. On the left toward M1 North. yeah so we're coming along the A14 and this is the M1 junction with the A14 and it's just a, a, a junction. A junction yeah there used to be really bad queues as well. Yeah. And I think it used to stop us using the A14. Well, it, one it, of the reasons, wasn't it? It was one of the reasons we'd never used the A14. I mean, the A14 is not a brilliant road. Let's face it, two, two lanes most of the way. And uh, you've got all the trucks use it coming from the uh, east port into the Midlands. And it really, really should have been a motorway. Yeah. Lo and behold, you're on the M1. Yeah. Here's the traffic jam we were warned about. I don't know what, what this In is. Half a mile, keep left to A50. Take the exit on the left to A515, then enter the roundabout. At the roundabout, take the fourth exit to A515. This is Ashbourne then, with all the flags out. Yeah, they knew we were coming. <laughs> Keep left to A515. dodgy roads around here so you have, have to be very careful. Pomeroy. Pomeroy. Please slow down. Especially as everyone seems to be turning left up it. Nice looking pub there. Duke of York.
So we follow the road into Long North and turn right at the crossroads. Okay. And we should pick up a brown caravan sign. Low bridge here. We're all right. Because we're not 4.2 metres high. That's quite a view. It is, isn't it? High up here. Yep. In the Peak District. <laughs> Here, isn't it? It is. It's a Satnag's warning, there's a sharp curve. Yeah. This is glutton. Glutton. <laughs> the glutton for punishment, eh? We mentioned a city flag there. Is it? Yeah, up on a pole there. Cat's eye lorry again. Oh, he's gone the other way, is he? Yeah. Okay, so we're in Long Norn here, presumably. Did you say turn yeah, left? Yeah, turn right. Turn right here? Yeah. Okay. And then it says brown, brown caravan site one and a half, one and a quarter miles. Okay. And then turn right immediately again. So it's right in here. Oh, <laughs> is this in the middle of nowhere or what? <laughs> this is absolutely in the middle of nowhere. Full 
bumpy. It doesn't say how far it is up here. No. Seven and a half miles along here. Be nice and quiet here. Yeah. With some epic views, absolutely. Down there, which you can't see on the camera at the moment. Now you see there's three parking spaces before you get in. Please park here, walk to barrier card collection point and drive straight to pitch. pitch yeah. Well, that seems quite an achievement actually finding this, doesn't <laughs> it? <laughs> right, so it says you are here. Yeah. So that's the obviously the reception, isn't it? Yeah. So we've just got to go straight up, straight yeah. round and in there. So, and it gives you the instructions where to pick it up. That's good, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. A few do's and don'ts. But also, there's, there's a couple of fobs in the em in the envelope, and that's for the toilet usage. You put those on the outside of the toilet when you go in. Those. So, yeah. And then. Barrier key. I don't know whether we key. need that in a minute. Don't think we need it now, but just hang on to it. Yeah. It was first of March to the tenth of January. So we go right here. Then. No, 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 straight, straight on. on. Oh yeah. Yeah, the uh, you pick up the barrier key. I mean, obviously this applies whilst the restrictions are in place pick up the barrier key and the envelope in this little hexagonal hut on the right which used to be the information point and the visitors car park here extra cars car park and yes you do need the barrier key Gotta hold it flat so the surface is a bit difficult to reach from <laughs> from up here. Right, so we're going right the way round. There's some holiday cottages here run by Ho Seasons. Remember Ho Seasons? Yeah, we used to go on their boats. Yeah. There's the chemical disposal point next door to the dog wash. Okay. Big caravan to bring up, bring up here, wasn't it? I don't think. I think we're in the next one to them. Searching. Yeah, we're just here, aren't we? <laughs> yeah.
yeah, so we're all set up, we've got water on the pitch, waste water on the pitch. I only actually need three collapse hoses. It's a bit of a slope on the, uh, on the side, so we've got the, the ramps up there. The only thing that doesn't appear to work is the there is free sat on the pitch. There's a satellite dish there. I think there's a someone's caught the cable with a lawnmower, be my guess. So I was hoping to get free sat, but uh, perhaps not. But there we are. I have, but I mean, um, it would mean mm, wiring into it, disconnecting, like, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, disconnecting at the uh, source there. Uh, yeah. So I could do that. Yeah. Oh, I suppose I better switch me filling off now. I've probably got enough in there now. Yeah, so it's very nice here. Right, let's take Poppy for a little walk. Yeah. Wanna go for a little walk? Come on then. Just take a shot of the van on the pitch. Right. Okay. There we go. There we are. All set up. Yeah, I think you can see there's a side slope, isn't it? But uh, some of the people are having fun and games as well. <laughs> yeah, so I suppose that's part of the problem being in the Peak District, isn't it, really? Yeah, yeah. Pictures are a bit slopey. Yeah. yeah, so I think the dog walk is as we came in and it's on the right. Okay. So, past reception. Yeah. Dog walk with a view. Come on, <laughs> Come on, you. Come on. Come on. Gonna have a look around, hey? Okay. Nice for Poppy to have some doggy company. Yeah. Wow, what a view. Hello. Come on, Pops. Come on, Pops. <laughs> yeah, if she can turn quickly, though. Okay. It's a bit hot for all that running around. She's so good at coming, isn't she? No. She'll come when she wants to. She'll come if she wants to. No, when she wants to. There she comes. Here she comes. Here she comes. <laughs> yeah. You can move, can't you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's too hot, isn't it? Yeah, managed to unload the dog anyway. <laughs> no, this is a great dog walk. It's the it's biggest good, dog it? walk we've, we've had all yeah. week, isn't it? Yep. So nearer the van, though, I don't think hot. <laughs> well, it's a little bit nearer. <laughs> yeah, it's even got hand sanitizer by the dog walk. That's very good. Right. Bappington uh, yeah. court here. Really like it, <laughs> no, used to play badminton many years ago. Yeah, so for the toilets, they've got a key fob, or it, you know, it's just the fob for a key, and you just hang it on one of the hooks there, and then you can go in, and they only allow five people in the building and you check how many fobs you've got on the wall and you don't go in if it's full so 
That makes sense. Nice and simple. One way system. Oh, well. there's a one way system, yeah. Because you're going the wrong way. Yeah, so we just thought we'd walk up this end of the uh, site, see what's up here. Looks like a turnaround there. Alright, I'll go around the roundabout. Got a little garden or something laid out there, haven't they? Yep. That's quite nice. <laughs> oh, boy. <blimey. Yeah. laughs> <laughs> Alright, better not go any further then. <laughs> so they've given us a really extensive booklet, yeah. all, all the information. Yeah. Uh, There's also a map as well. Isn't also there? a map, yeah, which I think we showed. Coming yeah. in. Very nice map. Mm. Which I've got, got it upside down. Yeah, yeah so I don't propose to read all this out, but mm. it sort of shows you again another map and where the dog walk is. And there's a shop, you said it's open. I, I think it? it's open, yeah, it's one person at a time, you know, going into the shop. Yeah, so you can order newspapers from it. They've even got a freezer thing in it and yeah. a doggy corner. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, there's a dog wash as well. Uh, yeah, we notice it's in the the hut down there next to the chemical toilet, and there's a dog wash, and a lot of people use in the dog wash as well, which probably is good. With bearing in mind there's a lot of fields around here. Yeah, uh, departure. Yeah. Departure time is twelve noon, unless previously agreed. Yeah. And you're ready to leave. Please take your barrier key back. I presume to that hut yeah. thing. Yeah. Yeah. But you have to keep the envelope. They give you this. Should have got all this ready, really, and I'd give you an envelope to put everything in. So yeah, you, your fobs go in, go in there. So yeah, visitors are allowed, but they must sign in at reception, yeah. and the cars must remain in the main car park. Yeah, there's free Wi-Fi. Yeah, uh, but to be yeah. honest, we've needed it because both signals. Both signals are pretty good here. Yeah, so the EE is brilliant, yeah. and the yeah. router. I mean, I watched yeah. a film last yeah. night. I uploaded a video at the same time. Yeah, so, yeah. yeah. So no, I had no buffering or, or no, anything, no. so it's perfect. But you can uh, get a card for the Wi-Fi. Said free Wi-Fi is available, and then it said if you would like Wi-Fi, you can purchase a card right. for one day at five pound. That's not free. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't quite understand all that. Anyway, it also tells you what's available in the Long Nor Village. Um, there's a general store sells lots of things and there's a fish and chip shop manifold fish and chips manifold yeah manifold yeah I was in the exhaust manifold yeah okay. yeah and another one and then it goes on to tell you what's in the area I think this must be the most comprehensive site information it's I've ever pretty had. good yeah yeah um, some of these places we've been to Bakewell we made a video about didn't we oh yeah, oh, yeah Bakewell yeah, yeah. Buxton, Buxton we've also yeah. got one on Heights of Abraham, places to visit, yeah. Crick Tramway Museum, which we've been to. Yeah. Link up here somewhere. Yeah. Uh, Alton Towers, there's many beautiful walks in the Peak District, Chatsworth House. Yeah. All those places all available. Yeah, and it actually mentions somewhere in here that you can get uh, cheaper tickets to Chatsworth oh. from here. Yeah, Chatsworth House and Garden tickets available from reception, £22. At the house, and you yeah. go straight to the house. Yeah. Eighteen pounds seventy from here, oh, right. okay. and you get a discounted car parking ticket. Four yeah. pound at Chatsworth, or two pound fifty from reception. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. The only other thing is the COVID. They've got a separate leaflet for COVID updates. You know about leaving your contact details, uh, the contactless check-in, as you saw. Um, uh, they don't lend out items like books and games and things anymore. Um, <laughs> funnily enough in here it says that to avoid increased risk to customers and staff no visitors are allowed. Oh right. So that sort of overrides what was in there. Yeah yeah. I thought it was a bit unusual because none of the others have allowed visitors yeah. have they? No, that's right. I think we showed the fobs to going, going in the toilets as well. It says the block will be closed at 11.30 each day set Monday and Friday when it will be two o'clock for deep cleaning and cleansing which takes an hour. Mm. No access. Yeah, I think that's it. Is that it? That's it, yeah. So what we thought the site so far? So far? We've only been here one night haven't we? It was very quiet last night. 
Yeah, it was, wasn't it? Extremely quiet, and it's nice that it's, the temperature's actually cooled off for me anyway. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, uh, we're right sort of at the back of the site. There's no no road noise or or no, anything. I mean, we're top of a hill in the middle of nowhere, really. And the we? site's pretty full, but yeah. Um, yeah. quite a few dogs, but not a lot yeah. of um, dog noise. No, no. So that was good. Okay, thank you. Right, so if you enjoyed the video, give us a thumbs up. Remember to subscribe, and if you haven't already, hit the notifications icon. Something like that. Something like that. <laughs> <laughs> Might have been slightly wrong. But yeah. Yeah. Okay, we'll see you soon. Yeah, bye then. Bye.